is it? Okay, so Minnie Mouse said no, she was gonna say a joke. And she said, What do you call a witch you find in the sand? That's why I wrote you a letter, cause you see, I write so much better. Alexa, hush. <laughs> See, she listens to me. <laughs> Babe, wait, let me say good morning to the good people. Good morning. Hey, y'all, hey. Today is October the, the 22nd, and I'm in my bonnet again because it's early in the morning, right? So, you know, you got to protect the curls. Well, anyway, I, no, I actually have my hair in twist. Babe, can you hush? So I, I just got Alexa to be quiet. Man, you start talking. Anyway, so I just did my um, twist last night. So they really fresh. Yeah, they. These are fresh twists. Really moisturized. I'll have my um hair video in the cards for you guys. But anyway, babe, I think I might need help. Mm -hmm. I got bacon hands. You got bacon hands? Yeah, I got bacon hands. Okay, let me put y'all down. I'm sorry, y'all. That's... I'm sorry, y'all. That was probably very rude of me. But, um, I wanted to tell y'all a joke. I went to tell Sugar for the joke, so I'm gonna put the camera on his face so he can. Laugh. Ooh, y'all, it's so funny. I saw it on Disney Channel. <laughs> okay, babe, listen. Okay, so Minnie Mouse said she was gonna say a joke, and she said, "What do you call a witch you find in the sand?" A sandwich. Answer. I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed in myself. I thought that I was gonna stump you. You can't stump me. Oh my god. Do me. Do me. You ain't got no jokes for me. <laughs> I'm terrible at telling jokes, so I'm like, I can't think what of anything. What did the ocean say to the beach? What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just wiped. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I just had laughter on my heart and I wanted to get it out. So I thought that if I told a joke, I could just laugh and it would be okay. I feel better. But, um, so Sugarfoot birthday is the 30th and I have his birthday present here. Should he get it today? Yay! Do you want it? Like, for real. We can wait for my birthday. All right, then. Alexa, tell me a joke. What do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A Z-Rex. <laughs> a Z-Rex. <laughs> That's pretty cute. That was terrible. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Was Alexa, bad that was a terrible joke. Thanks for your feedback. <laughs> She's so polite. Don't you think that was polite, babe? She said, thanks for your feedback. <laughs> okay, y'all. So... I am in my bathroom as you can see and I'm getting dressed but I want to do my eyebrows today um they are looking ooh, unloved <laughs> my eyebrows look like don't nobody love me right now so yeah um I share these in another day in a life I bought a large pack of these eyebrow um shavers and I, I have seen people on youtube here shaving their face i've never done that but i might be inclined to give that a try but anyway i also have some 
uh, like a lip mask. It's by Farsali. I don't know if you can see that. But um, it's pink. And it's really good. And it's called the Unicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. Because y'all know I wear on occasion lipstick. And sometimes it can be very drying for the lips. So I always try to do a lip mask like every other night. Especially if I was real heavy with my lipstick wearing that week. But um, yeah, so I'm going to do one eyebrow and let you guys see what it looks like. I don't have any way of like setting up my camera to where you can actually like see me do it. Because um, the lighting in my room is like really awkward. So I don't want to go in there. And Logan is um, chillaxing right now. So I don't want to be in there. So I'm just going to do one really quick and then um, come back and let you guys see the difference. Um between the two okay so as you can see I did my right eye and um, yeah I think that the shape of it is really good I still have a nice arch here I know like the glare is like shining down right here on my my eyebrow meat <laughs> so you really aren't like really seeing it but maybe I will um oh I'm also going to go ahead and feel my eyebrow and just so you can see this is what it looks like with no eyebrow filler in comparison to this one that's just took off to the woods. It's outgrown, but yeah, I'm going to fill in my eyebrow and then I'll be back again. Okay, guys, so I just went ahead and took the liberty to do some mascara as well and a little bit of lower lid eyeliner and um, just look at the difference that that made my face look. Like, I look a little softer. I look a little more womanly. Just because my eyebrow is dead. Like, y'all, I feel so cute right now. But anyway, um, this is just, this just goes to show you don't have to be all dolled up to be cute. Like, y'all know, I don't even, I don't wear false eyelashes. I don't know how to apply them. And plus, the good ones actually do cost a little bit of money. Like, a good pair of lashes could cost you like $20. $20. But I think they are reusable. I'm thinking about trying to pair those magnetic lashes. Leave it in the comments if you've ever tried the magnetic eyeliner with the magnetic um eyelashes let me know because like i'm so curious but i'm so cheap too so i don't really know if i'll ever do that but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and fix this one up i don't know what we're gonna do today i kind of have an idea but things just flip flop all the time around here when it comes to sugarfoot being off because we just get so excited because he's off and he's home and um yeah so just keep on watching if you want to know what we get into today Because I don't know who Glenda is, the good witch from the Wizard of Oz. Why are you getting upset with me about that? I'm not, I'm not upset. Yes, I'm, he was, y'all. No, I went no, I can't believe that you've never seen the Wizard of Oz. I think that there was a scarecrow and a lion and a okay. witch in a wardrobe. No, not in a witch in the wardrobe. Oh, no, I mean, that's a different movie. Oh, I, I ain't know. never seen that movie, but I did the, read the book. Oh, I don't know. There was a scarecrow that needed oil, a heart. And there was a lion that was a coward. The lion needed the heart. Okay, the lion needed the heart. The tin needed oil. Yeah. And there what was the another animal. Need? No, oh, the scarecrow he needed, did he need he a needed, heart. You're right. Okay, the scarecrow. And the, the scarecrow. The lion needed courage. Okay, the lion needed courage. The scarecrow needed. What do you need? A heart? Oil? Courage? Man, so, she, I don't know, y'all. I'm done with it. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the Walmart.
Mickey Mouse. We got a helicopter. So we're trying to find Lucas a toy. Look to the right. What do you want, Boo Boo? Where? What was it called? I don't see anything over here that you need. Y'all, we came in here for one thing. One and thing. Lucas and look at buried. And Lucas, you can barely see Lucas. Look at all this stuff we like got. People of Walmart .com. <laughs> hey y'all, so we are back home now from the Walmart. And I'm just going to show you real quick the two things that I don't want on my kitchen floor right now. Um, so right here, which you probably saw in the buggy, but it's the, the dog bed that we got for Lincoln. And I got this kid um, backrest. I have been looking online for one of these. And they were like $50 and $80. And I'm like, oh, hell no. So, <laughs> this one was $15.98. And, um, yeah, this will have a special place. But make sure you are subscribed to see where it is going. And let's move on to my haul. Okay, so we really didn't get a whole, whole lot from um, Walmart, but we did get some bread. We got some chicken wings because um, Sugarfoot is going to cook some fried chicken wings tonight. We got some breakfast sausages. Um, got some bacon back there. Got some Kit Kats. We love Kit Kats. Let me know what your favorite candy is in the comment section. I actually enjoy Reese um, peanut butter cups or Snickers. I also got these refillable K cups because I don't buy um, the coffee K cup pods or whatever because it's a little bit wasteful. Um, yeah, and, and they cost a lot of money, and we live on a budget over here. These are my um, laundry necessities. These are some sh sheets, and I got the. Um, little pods i've never seen this bucket before so when i saw it i had to get it these are the little packs by snuggle what scent is this it is the lavender and vanilla orchid oh, y'all if you see this give it a quick squeeze squeeze the box and sniff the air it smells so good um this wine is a new find it's the barefoot watermelon uh so i have to let y'all know how this tastes but i'm really interested because i do like watermelon flavored stuff um as far as oh and here's this lego because lucas is looking for it but this is what we found for him here you go boo boo don't get those pieces all over the floor please and i found this little thing for logan so cute i couldn't find her anything for halloween in walmart as far as pajamas but i did find this one for lucas and it glows in the dark y'all 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 this is gonna be so cute on him so i don't know maybe i'll take a picture and post it on instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram so you can see that picture and i got him some more pull-ups he is in the size 4t 5t and he doesn't pee in them like I don't know it's so weird he can have one of these on and never pee but if i like let him sleep in underwear just to see let him be a big boy and live his life uh no he pees in the bed so we're still working on that got some more parmesan cheese i got this for my lady bits um i would never tell another woman what to wash her lady bits with but i mean if you can't find anything um great this is a good alternative. Darnisha from That's Charming um, spoke about the Honey Pot products. But I went to Target two times and I never found the Honey Pot stuff. But I guess the universe just want me to um, go through one more cycle of this. And then hopefully the next time I go to Target I'll find some. But this is the scent Sheer Floral. And I never had any problems with that stuff giving me an uh, infection or anything. This is the um, mouthwash chalk paint and Luke got this soccer ball so I don't know what's up with that it looks like it glows in the dark but I don't think so and we also got you saw me pick up some auto band which I'm really excited about this I had a subscriber Miss Gwendolyn she suggested this and also I think Linda 
Style by Linda. I could be wrong about that, but she also suggested this as an alternative for a disinfectant. We also got the mold armor to wash our house with. This stuff takes that green stuff off like nothing else. It's so good. And we got a, another bottle too, because we got a lot of surface to cover, and there's a lot of mold. But yeah, that was what we got from the store in our pumpkins. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so um, we about to do some pumpkin carving right now. We got everybody in the kitchen. Okay, so Lucas, uh, get your little thing off of my sheet. So he's gonna paint his little pumpkin. Sugarfoot is in action, carving his top. I don't know what little um, stencil he's gonna use, but this is my stencil. So I'm gonna, Try it. I'm not it's a magician. Crazy. And then we got little it's mama right crazy. here. But yeah, we're gonna be listening to music, so I'll just put some it's cute music crazy. over this for you guys it's and crazy. enjoy. Oh, he got paint in his hair. Dang. Jesus Christ. again for the people in the back hers looks good i know it look good look good y'all look at my own. look at the cat look at the cat look, look at, at the punk look at that cat see you being nasty <laughs> with your nasty stuff anyway this one is sugar food um i know it looks like you don't know what it is because i don't really know what it is either but i think it's a witch house in a graveyard up in there somewhere <laughs> But we're going to put a candle in it and we're going to put it outside so y'all can really get the full effect. You ready? Let's go. Oh my god, y'all look at these pumpkins. They call jack-o'-lanterns now because we done carved them up. But look at how good Sugarfoot's look. Baby, you did a good job. I'm really impressed. But mine is cute too now. Don't sleep on my little simple little jack-o'-lantern. I did so good. You like it, babe? Yeah. They can't see you. 
Yeah, but good. anyway, they look really good. Y'all, if you made it to the end, leave us a pumpkin. Be a part of the emoji gang and let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you have not already. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from us. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye. Yay! You're so cute!